Okay, here I want to show you the construction of an ellipse with the use of concentric circle method. Whenever you are asked to construct an ellipse, whether you are using concentric circle method or any other method that you are given, you will be given two things. And those things are major axis and minor axis. Major axis and minor axis. The value of major axis and the value of minor axis. In this construction that I want to do, my major axis is 120 mm and the minor axis is 80 mm let's look at how this construction can be done so the first thing that you need to do here is to draw the major axis which is 120 mm so draw the major axis 120 mm so that is the first thing that you need to do here so so 120 so from here to here is my 120 so this is 120 mm from here to here okay so the midpoint is 60 so get the midpoint so which is 60 mm then the minor axis is 80 mm. So 80 by 2 is 40. So so from here to here. So this is 80. So from here to here is 80 mm. So this is 80 mm. All right. So our major axis will be labeled AB. So this is AB. Our minor axis will be labeled CD. So this is CD. So next thing that we are going to do is that. So let's call this point. So let's call it point O. This is center O. The point of intersection of the vertical and the horizontal line or the major and the minor axis. So we call it point O. So put your compass at point O and extend it to point B. Okay, then draw a circle. So draw a circle. So the circle goes like this. Okay. Then So put your compass at point O again. Extend it to point C here and draw a circle. So draw a circle. So divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Divide this circle into 12 equal parts. So put your compass at this point here and you make an arc here make an arc here then put it at point d here so you make an arc here make an arc here so put it at this point here so make an arc here and make an arc here then put your compass at point c make an arc here and make an arc here all right so we have divided it into 12 equal parts. So the next thing that we are going to do is to join the point together. But we need to number the point first. So here is, I'll call this point 1. So this is, I'll call this 2. So this is 3. So this is 4. So this point is 5. This point is 6. So this is 7. So this is 8, so this is 9, so this point is 10, so this is 11, and this is 12, okay? 
So now, so we are joining 5 and 11 together. So when you draw the line, make sure it stops on the big circle, which is the major circle. So what I mean is this. Okay. Because we also need to divide the big circle into 12 equal parts. So as I'm doing it here, so whatever I do on the small circle, it also applies to the small circle. So all right. So next is so we join three and nine together. Three and nine together. And then we join two and eight together. Two and eight together. So make sure it stops on the big circle. Okay. All right. So both the small and the big circle or the major and the minor circle have been divided into 12 equal parts. So we also need to number this big circle. So this point is 1. So I will call this 1 prime. So this point is 2 prime. So this point is 3 prime. So I still need to extend this line here. I need to extend this line. Okay. All right, so this point, this is four prime. So this is five prime. So this is six prime. This is seven prime. This is eight prime. There is nine prime. So this is 10 prime. This is 11 prime. And this is 12 prime. To differentiate it from the point that we have on the small circle. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is that on each point that we have on the small circle, on the minor circle, you draw horizontal lines to the left and also to the right. What I mean is this. So move your T square to this point. Here we have what? Here is, you don't need to do that on four here, but five and three, they are at the same point. So what you need to do is this. Okay, so you draw horizontal line from 3 to the right and from 5 to the left. Is it? Okay, then move to the next one. So point 2 and 6, they are the same point. So draw horizontal line here to the left and here to the right. Then we don't need to do it for 7 and 1. So move to 2 and 8 here. So draw a horizontal line to the left and also to the right. So here, 9 and 11. So draw a horizontal line to the left and also to the right. So you don't need to do it for 10. So that is the, that is the first part. So the next one is on each point that you have on the big circle or the major circle, you draw vertical lines. You draw vertical lines up and down. So what I mean is this, this is it. So if I put my set square here on point, on point two and point 12 here, so they are at the same point. So they are at the same point on the circle. So you draw a vertical line up. When it touch the horizontal line that you produce from the minor circle, you stop it there then draw horizontal line, a vertical line, sorry, draw a vertical line down, where we have drawn a vertical line up here, and then point 3 and 11, they are at the same distance on the circle, so draw a vertical line up here, and you draw a vertical line down here, so when they intersect, you stop it there, so we don't need to do that for 10 and 4, so next we move to so next we move to 9 
on the big circle, 9 and 5. So they are the same point here. So you draw a vertical line up here and draw a vertical line down here. So then you move to 6 and 8. So you draw a vertical line up and draw a vertical line down. So here we have this. So the point of intersection of the vertical and horizontal lines are the point that we are going to use to produce the ellipse. So here we have what here we have. There is a point here. So point B is part of it. This is where point B is the vertex. In case you are asked that where is the vertex on this ellipse. So point B and point A are the vertex. So here we have what we have this point here. Here we have another point here. So point C here or point 10 on the small circle is part of it. Then, so here we have what we have point 0.9 here. Okay, so here we have point 0.8 here. So this is point A is part of it. Then, here we have this point here. So, um, So here we have a point here. So there's another point here. So here we have this point. And here we have this point. So all these points will be joined together with the use of a French curve. So look at how I'm going to do it. This is my French curve. So set it like this. Then I can join these three points together. Okay, then, so by adjusting my French curve, I can join these two points together. Okay, then if I turn my French curve to this side, so I can join these three points together. Okay, then. I'm just in my French curve and join this together. All right, so that is part or half part of the ellipse. Then so I can join these three together. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so the last part of this, okay, I'm doing this. All right, so this is the ellipse. So this is the ellipse. So we use concentric circle method to construct this ellipse. So it's as simple as I explain it here. So we are asked to use concentric circle method to construct an ellipse. So just follow the steps that I explained here. Thank you.